What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we're talking about Bellator 244. These are my predictions, and we will preview the card a bit. First, I want to talk about a couple fights on the undercard that deserve some credit and deserve some attention. So let's talk about Yaroslav and Mosov versus Mark Leminger. And Mosov is a guy to watch out for at 170 pounds. It's a catchweight bout of 175. Um, I think that Yaroslav and Mosov defeats Mark Leminger here. Definitely wins a decision. I think it's a tough fight because Leminger is very game. Mosov has looked very good he beat eric silva and he defeated ed ruth in his last fight so obviously impressive resume those 23 fights are not against complete schmoes he's fought some game opponents and he's defeated game opponents in 23 and 0 i think he'll move to 24 and 0 and i think he's a problem in that bellator welterweight division now moving up we're talking about adam piccolati in sydney outlaw in the lightweight division this is a high stakes fight in the bellator lightweight division especially now with michael chandler leaving we could see these guys fighting for the bellator a title in the next year with some more victories after this fight this one and maybe two more for both of them and they're definitely right in the mix if not they're right in the mix with one win here i think adam piccolati wins it I think he does so by decision. I think Sydney Outlaw is very game, but I think Piccolati is just a better grappler and will be able to defeat the very tough Sydney Outlaw in a good fight that I'm excited to see, man. It's going to be a fun one. Now, moving up, Eric Perez fights Josh Hill. Eric Perez, if you don't remember, he is a UFC veteran. Josh Hill was actually on the Ultimate Fighter in the past. Should be fun in the 135-pound division. I think that Josh Hill pulls it off here. It would be an upset because Perez definitely the favorite, um, but I think that Josh Hill just has more tools as far as grappling skill and i think he'll beat eric perez perez tends to try to brawl he tends to leave his head in the pocket a bit too much and can't get caught but i think josh hill wins it i don't think it's too much of a scrap i think it's more of a grappling match and i think josh hill pulls it off here in a fun fight i'm excited for it now moving up john salter versus andrew capel john salter very high level submission skills andrew capel very high level muay thai skills a bit of a striker versus grappler fight here i'm going with the grappler i think john salter wins by submission in round two but i like capel a lot. I think he has really good, excuse me, really good striking skills. I think he can knock a lot of guys out. He knocked out King Mo in his last fight, but I think that John Salter's grappling base is going to be too much for him, and I think that he'll submit him in the second round. Now, moving up, Valentin Moldovsky and Roy Big Country Nelson. Roy Nelson is still fighting. He, he's not stopping. He's lost, I believe, four straight fights, and Moldovsky is a guy to watch out for at 9-1. and one. He's a heavyweight that has a lot of grappling skill. I mean, obviously, Roy Nelson, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and has good Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu skills, rarely uses them in his fights. Known for throwing the big overhand. Hasn't been landing for him lately. I don't think it lands here. I think Moldovsky's on his way to a unanimous decision victory over the aging legend in Roy Nelson. We're picking Moldovsky here. He's a Fedor Emelianenko protege, I believe. And he looks really good. Now, Julia Budd versus Jesse Millet. Budd was just recently the Bellator champion. Ran into Chris Cyborg, who's an absolute murderer. And obviously lost that fight. Millet, tough girl, coming off a win against uh, Tetalia Noguera in her last fight. I think Bo Julia Budd gets it here. I think it's tough, though. I don't think it's easy. It's a decision win. Millet, good grappler. Reminds me a bit of Felicia Spencer. Not as good obviously, as Felicia Spencer, but still good. Um, but Julia Budd wins it. I think that with another win, who knows? Maybe a Cyborg rematch would be on the table for her because, I mean, how many girls at the 145-pound Bellator women's division are at that level to compete against Chris Cyborg? I don't know. We're going to find out here, and I think Bud wins this one. Now, main event of the evening, Vadim Nemkov challenges Ryan Bader. Ryan Bader is the dual-weight champion in Bellator. You got to like Ryan Bader. Um, he's a veteran of the game, UFC vet, has fought the who's who of MMA. Vadim Nemkov is no no joke though he's a very exciting protege he's a guy to watch out for he's 12 and 2 as a pro beat phil davis that's very impressive i mean ryan bader just recently has been fighting at heavyweight he won the heavyweight tournament now he's cutting down to 205 will that affect him a bit i'm worried that it will but i don't think it's going to affect him enough that he'll lose i think we see bader win a decision here over these five rounds it's not an easy fight we could see an upset but i gotta ride with the champion ryan bader i don't think nemkov is at that level just yet he's only 28 Bader's been around forever. He's a big dude. He's a strong dude. Dominating wrestler. Ryan Bader gets it done here. But overall, Bellator has a fun card in store for us. Very good main event. Also, some solid fights on the undercard. Cannot complain. Should be a good one from Bellator. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Also, guys, follow my social media, Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you all in the next video.